Today, Afghan Film 2023 want to explore the mystery murder of SP Mohanad Tahir Khan Dabar. Please watch the video till the end. The mystery murder of SP Mohammed Tahir Davar and subscribe to our channel Afghan Film 2023 for more documentary and informative videos. Mohammed Tahir Khan Davar was a Pakistani police officer who was abducted from Islamabad on October 26, 2018 and then tortured and killed. His body was found on November 13, 2018 by the locals in the Dorbaba district of Nangarhar province, Afghanistan, close to the Torkham border crossing. His post-mortem report revealed he had no marks of bullet injury, but was rather killed by excessive torture during captivity. He was kept hungry and thirsty for several days, and his legs and arms were broken. He had died a few days before his body was found. Iftikhar Jarami, the spokesperson of Prime Minister Imran Khan, laughed away Tahir's kidnapping report in a Voice of America interview on October 28, alleging that Tahir was not abducted but was safe in Peshawar. After the discovery of his dead body, some Pakistani officials, including the Pakistan Army spokesman Major General Asif Ghaffour, expressed concerns for a possible involvement of foreign hands behind the murder. A joint investigation team was formed by the government to probe the murder, but SP Tahir's family criticized the government for the lack of progress in the investigation. SP Tahir's family, as well as several politicians and activists, demanded that the murder should be investigated through an international commission because the case involved two countries. The Pashtun Tafas movement PTM held countrywide protests against the murder. His family also complained that the Pakistani government made no serious efforts to recover Tahir while he was missing for more than two weeks. Education and career. S.P. Tahir completed his secondary education in 1982 in Idak, a village west of Mir Ali on the periphery of Muran Shah, the capital city of North Waziristan. He did his higher secondary education DFA in 1984. He completed his bachelor's degree in 1989 in Muran Shah and started his career in nursing and teaching in North Waziristan. Police career in Bono. In 1995, he joined the Khyber Pathumkwa police as assistant sub-inspector in Bono. He continued his studies while working in the police and completed his master's degree in Pashto in 1997. He was appointed as station house officer at a police station in Bono in 1998. He was promoted as sub-inspector in 2002 and as inspector in 2007. He was posted to Morocco and Sudan as part of the United Nations peacekeeping mission in 2003 and 2005, respectively. While posted in Bono, he was wounded three times during a clash with militants in 2005. Subsequently, the militants did suicide attack his home in Bono in 2008, killing his guard. S.P. Tahir Jawar once volunteered to supply arms and ammunition to the Howie police station in Bono. However, the control room made an error and the information was not passed on to the police station. The police opened fire on him due to the confusion, and he received a gunshot wound to his right arm. He narrowly survived two suicide attacks by the Taliban in 2007 and 2009, in the latter of which he was wounded. S.P. Tahir received the Kwaiti Azam Police Medal, the highest award for a police officer in Pakistan, for his gallantry and dedication with job. Federal Investigation Agency In March 2009, Tahir was transferred to the Federal Investigation Agency FIA, a border control and counterintelligence security agency in Pakistan. He worked at FIA as an assistant director in Peshawar. He was also sent to Australia and Romania as part of his duty. However, after his stint with FIA at Ba Cha Khan International Airport, Peshawar, he left it in July 2013. Police career in Peshawar Tahir rejoined the Khyber Pathumkwa police in July 2013 and served as Deputy Superintendent of Police DSP Crime Circle Peshawar City, DSP Capital City Police Office, and DSP Fakirabad Peshawar City. He was promoted as Superintendent of Police SP Rural Circle Peshawar City in 2018. Political Views SP Tahir Davar had sympathy for the Pashtun Tahaflis movement PTM. When Mohsen Davar, one of the founding leaders of PTM, won his seat in the 2018 general elections to represent North Waziristan in the National Assembly of Pakistan. 
SP Tayer Davor said the people of Waziristan have hope that Mos and Davor will honor the right of representation and will take the voice of the oppressed to the assembly, whose fury the assembly's mic will perhaps be unable to withstand. In an old video which went viral on social media after his death, Tayer was seen addressing a group of protesters and arguing that India, the United States, and Afghanistan were behind many conspiracies against Pakistan in general and Peshawar in particular. He said that the Indian intelligence agency RAW, the CIA, and Afghanistan posed threats to Pakistan, and that the focus of their activities was to target the China-Pakistan economic corridor. Abduction and Murder On October 26, 2018, S.P. Tahir Davar was abducted from Islamabad, Pakistan, where he had arrived the same day from Peshawar to attend a meeting. At 6.30 p.m. October 26, Tahir talked to his wife in Peshawar and told her that he was in Islamabad and may return if the meeting is over soon, otherwise he would be coming back on Saturday, October 27. However, at 7.15 p.m. October 27, his wife received a text message that Tahir was in Sari Alam gear near Jalem. On Octobird, the police officials investigating the kidnapping case informed that Tahir had dinner on October 26 at his residence in Islamabad. Then he went out alone on foot at around 7 p.m., and his mobile phone was found to be switched off from around 8 p.m. Geofencing of his mobile phone and number revealed that his last location before being kidnapped was at G10-4 area of Islamabad. On October 27, his mobile phone was switched on at a location in Saray El Amgir, then switched off again, after which there was no trace of his mobile phone or SIM card. On November 13, 18 days after Tahir's disappearance, his tortured dead body was found about 100 meters away from the Duran Line in the Dor Baba district of the province Nangarhar, Afghanistan. He was buried the same day at a cemetery in the Mav Mandara area in Nangarhar. After the washing and shrouding of his body and performing the Islamic funeral prayer for him, on November 14, Tahir's body was exhumed from the cemetery in Mav Mandara and carried to Jalalabad city on the order of Hayatullah Hayat, the governor of Nangarhar province of Afghanistan. The body would subsequently be carried from Jalalabad city to Peshawar of Pakistan. On November 15, the body was received at the Torkham gate by the Pakistan State Minister of Interior Shayi Arafridi and Khyber Patumkwa's Information Minister Shahkat Yalsafzai were also present at with Jirgis team in Torkham. The same day, separate Islamic funeral prayers were performed for SP Tahir Davar at police lines. Shayi Arafridi, Pakistan's State Minister of Interior, stated during his speech at the Senate of Pakistan that SP Tahir Davar was shifted from Islamabad to Nangarhar through northern Punjab, Mayanwali, and Bana. He said SP Tahir was transported from Islamabad to Punjab, where he was kept for a couple of days. Then he stayed in Mainwali for three to four days, and then he was taken to Bano Shayar Afridi also complained that at least 600 of the 1,800 surveillance cameras installed under the Save City project in Islamabad were not working and that not one camera could read a vehicle's number plate or a person's face. Responsibility the authorities in Islamabad initially said that the Pakistani Taliban TTP abducted SP Tahir Davar, but the Pakistani Taliban TTP denied involvement. Some Pakistani officials, on condition of anonymity, claimed that the Afghan intelligence agency NDS carried out SP Tahir's murder. In a Pashto note handwritten on a blank piece of paper, which was reportedly placed on the chest of the dead body of S.P. Tahir Davar, the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant Khorasan province, Isil K.P. claimed responsibility of the murder. However, there was no official claim of responsibility from Anak Agency, the news outlet linked to Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant Sisl. Some political analysts, journalists, and activists have questioned the authenticity of the handwritten note found besides the body, arguing that Isil makes its official claims through Anak Agency, not in this manner. Mohsen Davar, who represents North Waziristan in the National Assembly of Pakistan and is one of the leaders of the Pashtun Ta'afas movement, was also unconvinced. Mohsen Davar accused the Pakistani intelligence agency ISI of being an accomplice in the murder, and said for more than 15 years, we have seen this deceptive drama that people are murdered and then their corpses are left with a note for militants. We will not be deceived. How was he taken from Islamabad, calling for an international commission to investigate the murder case rather than investigating it internally? Mohsen Davar said we reject an internal inquiry. 
we know that our investigation authorities can't question certain powers. Tayyar Davar's brothers said that a few days before his disappearance, SP Tayyar Davar had arrested suspected militants in Peshawar with heavy weapons which were being transported to Afghanistan. SP Tahir Davar took the suspects into custody, but on the intervention of the senior superintendent of police, SSP, they were soon released. Tahir's family claimed that these suspects could be behind the murder of SP Tahir Davar. Investigation On 16 November 2018, a seven-member joint investigation team was formed to probe the murder of SP Tahir Davar. The team was headed by the superintendent of police investigation in Islamabad, while the other members were the subdivisional police officer DSDPO at Islamabad Shalimar Circle, the deputy superintendent of police DSP from the counter-terrorism department CTD, the investigating officer of the case, and one representative each from the Interior Services Intelligence ISI, the Military Intelligence MI, and the Intelligence Bureau IB, the three Pakistani intelligence agencies. Nadia Tahir, daughter of SP Tahir Davar, said in October 2019 that the team made no tangible progress in investigating the murder. Ahmed Adin, brother of SP Tahir Davar, said the joint investigation team called several friends of SP Tahir Davar, including former member of the Provincial Assembly of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa Adnan Wazir, Brigadier Naeem Badi, and additional accountants General Islamabad Sharifullah Al Khan. The friends told us that the joint investigation team questioned them like a team of the National Accountability Bureau at NAB and asked questions about the assets of SP Tahir Dewar. The investigators did not pose any questions about SP Tahir Dewar's abduction and murder. Ahmadadin claimed that Prime Minister Imran Khan had promised to probe the murder through a uncommission if the family was not satisfied with the joint investigation team report. However, when asked to do so, Imran Khan refused by arguing that a uncommission had previously investigated the assassination of Benazir Bhutto, but its performance was unsatisfactory. Reactions Pakistani government, Prime Minister Imran Khan condemned the murder and called it a shocking tragedy. He ordered its immediate inquiry and tasked Pakistan's State Minister of Interior Shayar Afridi to oversee it. The Pakistan Army spokesman Major General Asif Ghaffar also condemned the murder saying we lost our brave officer and hinting at a broader involvement of foreign powers behind the case. Asif Ghaffar said SP Tayyar's abduction, move to Afghanistan, murder and follow-up behavior of Afghan authorities raises questions which indicate involvement or resources more than a terrorist organization in Afghanistan. Afghan government, Omar Zakawal, Afghanistan's ambassador in Islamabad, expressed grief over the case and asked the governments of Afghanistan and Pakistan to sit on table together and talk about who would have murdered SP Tayyar Davar. He promised that the Afghan government would investigate the case. Pashtun Tafas Movement Supporters of the Pashtun Tafas Movement PTM held protest rallies in several cities of Pakistan and demanded for an international commission to investigate the case. They chanted slogans against the Pakistan Army and intelligence agencies, whom they accused to be involved in the abduction and murder. Mosin Tamar, who is one of the leaders of PTM and also represents North Waziristan in the National Assembly of Pakistan, expressed shock over SP Tahir Davar's murder and said that explaining this in the same old good and bad Taliban drama will not work anymore. The state of Pakistan is responsible for his martyrdom and we demand answers. His abductors have to be made answerable. Opposition parties in Pakistan Pashtun Milliawami Party's leader Mahmud Khanachaksai equated the murder of SP Tahir with Jamal Khashoggi, saying both incidents required international probe. Awami National Party held protest rallies in several cities across Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and backed the demand of PTM to call for an international inquiry. Kami Watan Party also protested against the murder and demanded for an early arrest of the killers. Pakistan Muslim League, DEN, and Pakistan People's Party criticized the government of Pakistan for failing to provide security to SP Tahir Davar in the capital Islamabad. Package for Tahir's family On 4 Dec 2018, Shayar Afridi, the State Minister of Interior, announced a package of RS 70 million for the SP Tahir Davar's family. He said Prime Minister Imran Khan had approved the package. However, in October 2019, SP Tahir's daughter Nadia disclosed that the federal government had not paid them the RS 70 million compensation despite announcing it. 
and that the Pakistan army had paid them RS 25 million. Tayyar's poetry. Tayyar wrote poetry in Pashto language. Some of his ghazals have been sung by local singers with music. The following Pashto poem is an example of his poetry, in which he describes his war-torn homeland, Waziristan. My life is ruined, my world is ruined, my army is ruined. My home is ruined, my door is ruined, my riverbank is ruined. The morning's nightingale stopped chirping colorful songs. The evening is ruined, the afternoon full of flowers is ruined. Everywhere people are mourning and crying. By slapping in grief, the bosom of our damsels is ruined. Even though I, Tair Dawar, have not known my sin. My head is ruined, the head atop of my head, the elders of my tribe is ruined. Thank you all for joining me on this thought-provoking exploration of the mystery murderer of SP Tahir Dawar. From the bottom of my heart, I want to express my gratitude for your active participation, whether you're a long-time subscriber or a new viewer. Your feedback and suggestions have been invaluable in shaping the direction of my channel Afghan Film 2023. Stay curious, stay engaged, and let's continue seeking the truth. Please don't forget to like, subscribe our channel Afghan Film 2023. Thank you. Till next time.